Hey there, it's Corey from SkySwitch with an overview of the new Teams connector. Today we're going to be discussing what it is, what it does, how it works, and why you would want to use it in the first place. I'll also be providing some words of caution for those unfamiliar with selling Microsoft products. The Teams connector is a fully white label capable add-on for Microsoft Teams that connects Microsoft Teams to RPBX. In the most basic sense, it turns Microsoft Teams into a soft phone. However, it gives you a few nice add-ins, such as portal access, pre-programmable feature codes, and a little bit more. The Teams connector is both the app shown and an SBC, which sits between Microsoft and our PBX. When you connect Teammate to a domain on our platform, you're allowing users to connect an extension with their Teams account, again, allowing it to act like another phone. There are a number of things that you should know ahead of time. You should already be somewhat familiar with Microsoft before attempting to sell the solution. There is a potential for a number of issues during the setup process which may require you to guide your end client through the Microsoft 365 admin console. You'll also need some specific Office 365 or Microsoft 365 licenses, as well as a special phone system license. There are several phone system licenses, but essentially you need to add calling functionality to Teams to be able to allow Teammate or the Teams connector to work. The phone system licensing is going to be an additional cost to your end users and likely something they don't already have access to unless they're using one of the top level enterprise licenses like E5. Now, if you're not familiar with the Microsoft Admin Console or 365, you might wanna try setting up a free trial to feel out the application. You can get a free trial and then add in business phone system licensing as an additional add-in, and you have 30 days to use it, uh, but it allows you to get familiar with the Admin Console and some of the ins and outs. Cost. There is a cost per user for the solution, as well as the seat cost and the additional Microsoft licensing required for the solution. So just keep that in mind. I'm not going to be talking about pricing in the video, but you can feel free to go back and talk to your sales rep about any type of pricing questions. The soft phone itself doesn't offer a whole lot of functionality. It essentially is what Microsoft has there already. So you get a number pad and you get some basic calling and transferring type features, but not much else. You also have to be aware that Microsoft themselves can potentially compete with you on pricing. So do your research on Microsoft's pricing and just be careful. Personally, I think one of the biggest gotchas that you may not be prepared for when you're getting ready to set this up is that the Microsoft Global Admin will be a big part of the setup process. So if you're not a global admin for your end client's Microsoft 365 domain, you're going to have to be working with them and guiding them through some of the process. So it's highly recommended that you're familiar with the process and you know what to do when you're walking them through. Now the Teams connector is powered by Teammate Technologies and it's a work in progress and I just want to add that because they will be adding more functionality in the future. I also say that because the Microsoft API is constantly evolving and there are possible changes because of the evolution of Microsoft's API. Just be aware that there may be some setup changes or additional steps that you'll have to do in the future. Those sound like a bunch of negatives, but there are some places this app fits in really well. As a standalone soft phone, the solution is pretty solid. The combined PBX portal access is useful for obvious reasons, though you don't even have to include PBX portal access to your end users if you don't want to. With that being said, you can white label about any aspect of the application, from the app name and icon, to the developer name, to the emails, to the Microsoft Global Admin, to the knowledge base, to the portals, and more. So it's safe to say that it fits really well inside of your product catalog carrying along your own name or some other name if you prefer. You might question, who is this app for? Well, obviously, Microsoft Teams is a very popular solution that gained a lot of traction in 2020 for obvious reasons. 
and you may already have customers looking to be able to extension dial between their physical phones and Teams. Companies that are already utilizing Microsoft Teams internally for communications are great targets. You also want to look for companies that are working from home and trying to fill a gap. You probably don't want to convert all of your users to Teams only users because you are kicking over cost to Microsoft. SkySwitch will support the setup of the application and the connection to the PBX, but we will not directly support the connection to Microsoft. We will do best effort support for the connection to Microsoft, but you and or your end client will have to do some troubleshooting if something goes wrong in the Microsoft admin console. And there is a possibility that you will have to speak to Microsoft support if you run into issues. Teammate technology will also not participate in this type of troubleshooting outside of pointing to the issue. That being said, many of these issues are well documented, but the ever-evolving API makes future issues a possibility. Thank you for watching. Up next, we're going to look at the setup process from start to finish of the Teams connector. This will include from starting the ticket with SkySwitch to set up your account, all the way to provisioning your first end user. Thanks again.